Hijra. On the twelfth year of his prophethood, during the mounting hostility against the Muslims in Mecca by the Quraysh, Rasulullah wasallam received an unexpected visit by a group of leaders from a town called Yathrib. They met at a place named Aqaba, where the leaders invited Rasulullah wasallam to come to Yathrib to resolve a dispute that existed among them. Rasulullah had imposed a condition whereby they must first admit the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and accept the Prophet as his messenger. This agreement was known as the Treaty of Aqaba. The following year, after the second Treaty of Aqaba was agreed upon, Rasulullah received a revelation for the Muslims to leave Mecca and migrate to Yathrib secretly in order not to be known by the Quraysh, who never ceased to despise the Muslims. Nonetheless, after all 70 Muslims have fled from Mecca, Rasulullah Wasallam's house was fenced in by the Quraysh led by Abu Jahal who was determined to kill our Prophet. But Sayyidina Ali had tricked the Quraysh by replacing the Prophet on his bed and for that Rasulullah Wasallam managed to escape safely. The Quraysh who still wanted to kill Rasulullah Wasallam, have hunted him and successfully tracked him hiding in a Thur cave outside of Mecca. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had saved him, his close friend Abu Bakr as siddiq who followed him on this journey and also a Bedouin guide. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded a dove to build its nest at the entrance of the cave and also a spider to cover the entrance with its cobwebs. Fooled, the Quraysh quickly left the cave without being able to assault Rasulullah wasallam. They went back and took another route to track the Prophet down. Meanwhile, the people of Yathrib became restless while waiting for Rasulullah wasallam, who hasn't arrived. However, they became very happy instantly when they saw the glimpse of the beloved Prophet. After crossing the blistering heat of the desert for 250 miles, Rasulullah wasallam arrived in Yathrib safely. The people of Yathrib greeted him while singing Tala al-Badru alayna. Then Rasulullah built a house and a mosque on the spot where his camel sat. From that moment on, he established the first Islamic government in history and changed the name Yathrib to Madinah al-Munawarah. The End <laughs>